Um, I am a wellness coach, so I have a few different certifications. Um, I've been working more in the nutrition space for the last three years, um, but focused more on, um, I have a certification in eating psychology, and I found that part of my work a lot more interesting. But yeah, sort of leaving the nutrition and meal planning space and getting more into positive psychology, um, working with emotions and a lot of stress management. A lot of the clients I've worked with um, deal with emotional eating. And so they come to me for, you know, wanting to change their food, but it's usually more of a deeper process. Well, I have been a fan of the positive psychology um, team for a while, um, like Steph, and um, what's his partner's name? Hugo. Hugo, yes. I just, I really, like, I love, um, I just feel like they're very genuine people. So um, when I was first getting into the coaching space, I loved that website as a resource for me to really make sense of this coaching world. Um, and I liked that I could trust that everything was evidence-based. Um, and I bought a few their programs over time. Right around that time, I got an email about Crenza potentially being a thing or when it was coming out. And I knew that that was something that I would trust. And basically, I wanted to basically just use all these positive psychology tools in my practice. Um, and then since trying it out and seeing how user-friendly it is, I like how clean the interface is. It doesn't overcomplicate things. I just, yeah, I just really resonated with it. So that's how I found it. And then primarily, like the biggest thing that saves my time is um, I would like to build up more of my own activities. Um, and I have so many ideas, but I tend to overestimate how long things are, or underestimate how long things are gonna take me. So right now, just using the expansions, there's so many tools in there that would be exactly what I would want to do anyways. And it already looks professional and it's done. and. Again, I just love that um, instead of just being, you know, one big document for them to read, it's more of a, you know, you read this page, you click next, you maybe get a little meditation or whatever it is. It's just, it's more experiential, instructional design. For me personally, confidence. I feel so much more confident and like a professional. <laughs> I've sort of dabbled with coaching here and there and like using the various tools and you know in your um, startup and new entrepreneur things can add up really fast and I've used tools and then they haven't I haven't really stuck with them and this this just makes me feel like I've got something um, that's truly valuable to add to my coaching makes me feel professional makes me feel organized um, and it's tangible. That's another thing when I'm selling my coaching, I'm finding it easier to sell or just to help people understand the value that they're gonna get. Um, Cause coaching itself, it's can be quite intangible and each process for each person is so unique, but being able to say that I've got evidence-based tools that you'll have access to between sessions and everything, it, it makes that process um, easier to sort of market to my clients as well very positively. And I will say even um, my dad signed on as a client recently. So he's a 67 year old man. And like my target audience is more like young professional women who are fairly tech savvy. So I was interested to see how someone who I would not call very tech savvy would do with it, but he's um, loving it as well. It just, it's easy to sign up. It's easy to click a link. It's easy to get, um, access to what you need to do um, and even using the app because um, that was a barrier with some other systems I've used. They're amazing and so many features but even for myself the learning curve was just way too big and then to get a coaching client to not only take on coaching but then also learn a complicated system. I mean a tool can be amazing but if it's not able to be used then it's not worth anything right so so far my experience has been very positive and i've been receiving very positive feedback about the interface and usability of it it keeps me on my toes it keeps me at the top of my game in terms of staying on top of the tools that are out there to help people um because i think I mean, I personally, I'm a, I love learning. So I'm constantly like learning new things and doing certifications, but 
you can sort of forget things and just get lost in the sea of all these things you know. And I find with Quenza, because you're really literally creating specific tools for your clients to use and hearing the feedback on them, it really just grounds my knowledge, but also um, when there's new tools being released all the time through the Positive Psychology Toolkit or even through expansions, it, um, yeah, it just makes me a lot more aware of what's available to my clients and that I'm not just using only like the few outdated or not even outdated, but just the same old tools over again. It's like evolving as the world evolves.